Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I'm here to do your love reading. Um, it is the end of June but it's within a month's time of when you view this because all my reads are timeless. Um, which brings me to a point because I had someone get Excuse, by the way, I use bad language. I just want to let you know. If you don't like it, there's the door. See you later. Bye. Because I'm about to swear. Um, <laughs> or curse or whatever. Anyways, someone was pissed off because that's what she posted or he or whoever that I haven't gotten to her reading yet and posted a bonus reading for Sagittarius. Oh my God, how dare me. Um, it's because I had recorded their reading and I explained this in their first reading that the energy was just so intense I figured I, w I was going to redo it and then I was questioning whether or not I should even post the original one and I was like well it could be for someone so I decided to post it as a bonus and actually the energies are very similar so it's pretty close to the same reading with just different details but anyway she had a fucking cow about it um, but with that said I do the best I can to go through all the signs and I try to keep all the thumbnails similar so if you see matching thumbnails like and it was towards the end of okay we'll say it's June 30th today and this thumbnail looks the same as the next reading I do on July 1st it's in the same group the ta the same type of spread reading whatever so I'm not missing anybody the dates just might be a little wonky or whatever or they're not done as quickly as everyone wants me to. I'm one person, I'm only human, I'm doing the best I can, and these are free readings. I spend a lot of time on these readings, a lot, and I'm actually thinking of cutting it down because apparently it's not appreciated. And I know it's just one person and I have a lot of other people who do appreciate the work that I do and that every other reader does. Um, but I, I got kids, I got a life, and I have health issues too. I mean, yesterday, I don't know if I have rheumatoid arthritis or what the hell's going on, but my hands hurt so bad I couldn't even grip the steering wheel in my car. And I'm okay today, like I can actually make a fist again, but I couldn't touch my knuckles, nothing. It was ridiculous. And that's never happened to me before, so... I was dealing with that and I just was feeling kind of blah and the energy that we've been sitting in with all the planetary changes and the retrogrades and shit, it fucking affects me too. Just like it affects your mood, I get depressed, I get anxiety, I get all that shit too. I try to keep myself centered, but you know, every now and again I guess I go through a funk and I'm a Scorpio so when I get into a funk, I get into a deep dark funk and it's hard to pull my ass out of it sometimes just gonna say and I don't tell a lot of people that but I love you guys I care about you and I didn't forget about you I never could I hate being away but sometimes I need to replenish <laughs> so anyways end rant um this is a general reading it will not apply to every single one of you um I wish I could do it but I can't so if it doesn't resonate you know just throw it out the door I'm forgetting my intro I swear this like okay I want to say someone's forgetting something. And I feel like someone's forgetting something pretty important, like significant. And it's either about them personally, like in your personal life, or about a person. You're forgetting what they did to you or something that was said. I feel like something's being overlooked. And it, it could be someone around you that's overlooking something. But it's almost like forgetting something important. Because, I mean, to me, I feel my intro is important. But, um, it's, it's like a, it's very significant. It's a detail about someone that you either have feelings for or that you dated. I don't think you dated this person. There's something significant in your life. Some of you, I don't know if any of you believe in, well, you might believe in it, but I don't know if any of you would go to um, a regression therapist. So, like, you could do, like, past life regression, or you can even do it for this lifetime, where, because sometimes if you experience, like, PTSD or anything like that, especially when you're young, um, it's a coping mechanism. It's like a form of protection that your brain does. It kind of blocks out certain memories. 
I almost feel like that's going on for somebody that there's a there's something really important in your life that you're blocking out and I don't some of you might know because you're intentionally not looking at this while others of you like legit are living life as if this event never happened to you but it did and I feel like the reason why it's coming up that way is because it might be resurfacing and it could be due to the healing process within yourself where you know you're getting to um, a place spiritually where you're you know starting to align yourself and, and you're working on things um, for you to you know for your own personal betterment I guess um, and it's these things are starting to come out they, they might be starting to come out in dream form you might be like thinking what the hell was that a dream or, or did that really happen like a memory like that um, or someone's gonna bring it up potentially on their deathbed I feel something coming there's like a secrets being revealed and it's something that you know that you forgot or you suppressed one of the two so that's pretty significant um, but yeah, this might not resonate with all of you. This is my intertwined spread. Mutual energy, your energy, their energy, flip-flop it, vice versa, whatever. I'm dealing with energy, so I don't know your story. You do. Um, so if I say this is you and you're over here, just put it where it fits. If it's not your story at all, just throw it the fuck out. Um, these will be extended on Patreon over here. We're going to cover mutual energy, mutual thoughts, feelings, wants and or needs, your feelings, their feelings, expectations, overall energy, on Patreon, we're going to cover obstacles and blocks, actions, outcomes, um, advice, and potentially what this person wants to say to you, depending on how in-depth it goes and, you know, kind of what comes out. Um, I play it by ear over there a lot of the times. Okay, I think that's all the general... Oh, I do have openings for personals. All the information's in the box below. Just hit me up, and, like email me. I'll give you all the information you need. Um, I do have a few on the books. I am playing catch up with that right now, but... Um, you can always inquire about them. It's on my website and all that shit. So, overall energy. Uh, what is it? Nautilus Princess. Powerful personal growth. 41 breaks down to a 5. That's all about change, but it's also inner conflict. And I feel like this is a conflicting memory. Something that's happened to you or in your love life. It seems this is a love reading, so it could be pertaining to um, something that happened to you sexually. And it could be affecting your, your romantic life, you know, your partnerships. Um, and if this didn't happen to you, it could have happened to someone close to you or someone that you, you know, you have feelings for. And um, if you're wondering why you're having a hard time connecting to this person or why people are having a hard time really connecting to you, it's because of this. There's like a void um, because of whatever the hell trauma this is, there's, uh, you haven't filled the void. You just kind of walled it up. It's almost like a secret room in the house that you've just kind of, um, you know, threw cement over and it's like, oh, it's not there anymore, but it's still there. It's going to be discovered. It's going to be unleashed. And I feel like it's coming out because of your personal growth because you're doing something for you Pisces and I feel like this is a massive change in your life because I feel like you tend to neglect yourself uh, for whoever I'm talking to and it's not all of you because I know some people are gonna bitch and be like no I always take care of me when I say neglecting yourself I don't mean that you don't take care of your basic needs and some of you do lack there because of depression anxiety whatever um, but I feel like this is more along the lines of giving too much to other people, expecting too much from other people, because it's almost like you expect what you would do from them, and they don't see the world the same way you do, if that makes any sense. So, for example, if you always go above and beyond for people, no matter who they are to you, if, especially if you care about them, you expect the people that you care about or that say they care about you to do the exact same for you, and they don't look at it that way. But I feel like you're having these realizations. It's like, you know, I can't have these expectations because, you know, so-and-so isn't me. And maybe I shouldn't be putting so much effort into um, these other people or these connections if they're not matching my effort. So you're having a lot of those light bulb moments here. And I feel like it's kind of, it's a bittersweet feeling because I feel like it's empowering you um, to stand 
tall and to be strong, but it's also discouraging at the same time, realizing how many people you have supported that didn't deserve it, you know? Um, I don't know. It, it's There's a lot of change, and it's starting from within you, and I feel it's very beautiful energy, but I feel like it, it's very confusing. It's very conflicting, for sure. Um, and it's be a lot of it has to do with the fact that you don't want to let certain people go, but you know you need to for your own peace of mind, basically. Weed out the trash, Pisces. I feel like you guys hold on to outdated situations. Even if you tell the world or act as though you don't give a shit internally, you bottle it up and you just store it away in that secret fucking room and you're you're purging this energy out and it's not always comfortable when we do that, when we go through these cycles. And I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you're going through something like that right now. Because um, she's holding a giant seashell and the sea, water, is all about emotions. And to me, it's like there's... I just envision water in here and she's just kind of carrying it around cradling her emotions um so it's kind of a vulnerable state to be in as well and i feel like you don't like to be vulnerable or admit that you are in certain circumstances yeah you're having a hard time letting go of something but i feel like it's coming um we have the four of pentacles reversed and the king of swords reversed there's definitely something suppressed. I feel like there are things that you want to tell somebody or that you're hoping someone will tell you. So there's a conversation that hasn't um, been had yet that you're hoping will come up. Um, I just heard someone's afraid to talk to you. So if someone needs to take ownership of their actions, especially if they treated you like shit, they're having a really hard time um, coming forward. I feel like it's a big hit to their ego and it's something this person doesn't want to do. I feel like you you feel it's necessary for this closure so that you can release, so you can let go. But what you don't realize is whatever you're doing um, in your everyday life, like for yourself, you're actually, you're letting it go little by little without even realizing it. Because I feel like you've come a long way in this situation, or just in your life in general. Five of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, this is like recovery mode. Some of you are re are recovering financially. Sorry, I live on a, a main road and it's raining, so we're going to hear traffic. It's ridiculous. Um, and I do apologize. I'm trying to time readings around that, too. But anyways, um, I do feel like you're recovering from a financial loss within a situation so it could have had to do with a divorce or just the end to a long-standing commitment um, and you're picking up the pieces for yourself so I do see I see I just feel recovery 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 so it could be health money I feel like it's within you you're healing and trying to let go of a of an unhealthy situation or an unhealthy person because this can also represent somebody who's very controlling um, kind of you know a narc basically somebody who's nasty with their words I feel like someone I'm talking to somebody who is recovering from that and then we have the Empress yeah this is standing in your power and I feel like this is the show you put on, too. Like, this is how people see you. Like, you got it going on. You're doing good. You're confident. You're attractive. You know, um, your money's on point. You know, you're just doing well is how people see you. And I do, and I feel like you are. I feel like the, the mucky mess that, that, that swirls around within you is just that it's within you like you hide that side of yourself from people I feel like you might for some of you there's someone new that either has just come into your life or will be coming into your life very soon um, especially in July or August 8 I just I saw 8 so it could be August but anyways um, there's someone new that's either just come into your life or is coming into your life. And I feel like this is someone that you feel that you can be very um, honest with. Because then we have the Queen uh, the queen of Swords and the King of Cups. 
and he's very caring, very loving, very nurturing. He loves deep, but he hides his emotions. He keeps, you know, his heart tucked away, basically. It's like, I don't really want to, he doesn't want to feel exposed. And I feel like there's someone that's coming into your world, and some of you have already met this person, like I said, that you feel like you can be very vulnerable with, very open with, very honest, especially about your healing process, about this narcissistic person, whoever you're trying to let go of. Um, and I feel like it's because this person actually has gone through very similar things to you. Can I get more? So it's like, it's relatable. Acts. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Yeah, there's definitely abandonment issues. And some of you run away from your problems. But I feel like you're trying not to do that now. Because we're in recovery mode is what I feel. This is recovering from a breakup or a separation. It's finally cutting the ties. And I kind of feel like the, the person in this reading is not your ex. It's not the person you're separated from um, or recovering from. The person that's here is someone who's walking a very similar path to you. It's someone that you're going to be able to trust moving forward. It could turn into love. I, feel, I really feel like it w will, but only if you allow it. Um, some of you are actually have a crush on your therapist. That's definitely not for everyone, but I just heard it. So, well, you're open and vulnerable with a therapist, so I could see that happening. All right. So, whoops. Mutual thoughts, conversations. We have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Eight and eight is 16. That's a number of the tower card it's all about change i feel like this is stressing out about change about moving forward about i feel like it's worrying about someone walking away but it's like recovering from that because he's here helping her like even though she could remove herself from you know the ties that bind her this mental prison this person understands where she's coming from so he's like here let me help you we'll 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 move on together that's what i feel here and that's fucking beautiful you're finding someone that you can really relate to that it, and it's very empowering energy it's like instead of you know worrying about what this person left you which you probably felt was like little to nothing um this person's like, well, let's, let's put that cup down and, you know, we'll fill these up together kind of thing. Yeah, there's a lot of heartbreak and pain, healing energy here. And it's, it's due to a breakup. Hmm. Some of you are experiencing... Um, an ending, an end to a relationship, this breakup, like you just, it just happened. Some of you are further along in this process, like regaining your strength, but I do feel like there's someone out there that's going to watch this that just recently, someone just walked away from them and it's like, they just don't know what to do right now. And if that's the case, you're stressing about money. What is this? We have the Knave of Swords. Someone's watching you suffer. That's fucking sadistic. Just gonna say. Spying. Because this is like thoughts and conversations. I feel like some of you found out something something really bothersome that stressed you out it was very painful heartbreaking there we go um you found it out online 
about your partner. For those of you who just recently went through a breakup, I mean, this could have happened when you broke up with so-and-so a while ago or when they left you. I feel like you found out that this person was leaving before they told you. It, it was like you found this information out online. You either found out um, because they were talking to another person and lying to you, because she can also represent the other another woman um, or the other woman, whatever. I feel like you found out some really heartbreaking information online through spying, and it was kind of accidental spying is what I feel, because I don't feel like you were being malicious and watching someone's every move. I feel like you came across something, and it either forced you to walk away, or it was just information about your person leaving your life before they even told you. This could be a friend of yours that you're talking about this to because there's there's a very supportive nurturing energy here right now like you're not alone you're being taken care of you're there's someone who's supporting you in the, in a very compassionate way it could be through online communication as well you might be talking to someone online who's kind of you know you can vent because you're not face to face it makes it easier um, I feel like you're getting some kind of solace, some kind of comfort from online communication about a breakup, about somebody doing you dirty, basically, trying to get out of a situation. Some of you, this, excuse me, this friend, this therapist, whoever the hell this person is that you're speaking to online, I feel like it's, one, this is for one person, you're worried about walking away. It's like you're trying to sneak away because you don't want to get hurt because you're dealing with someone who is very unhealthy and you know it. So this is like that sneaking away energy. But I kind of feel like you're falling for the person who is helping you. Um, palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Yeah. This person's making you feel safe. So whoever this love interest is, they helped you get through a difficult situation. They're making you feel stable, secure. Um, they're helping you with this personal growth and overcoming um, the shit from your past. And I feel like there's still that, that forgotten thing, that suppressed event that's still to come. It's not out yet. Like you you either don't remember it yet or you haven't shared this piece of information with this person or anyone yeah because whoever you're talking to is helping you escape helping you end a situation they're providing you with these options you know you could go here you could go to a women's shelter you could stay at my house you can do this you could like i feel like someone's helping someone to that extent like um to help them regain a sense of self after really bad experience and you're you're feeling very emotionally tied to whoever this person is that that's helping you basically this is a pretty specific message um mutual feelings playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine i feel like this person you you kind of bring out that ch the childlike qualities in each other where I almost feel like I'm talking to somebody who forgot what it felt like to have fun, like to laugh, to just enjoy, to be silly, to be goofy. It's almost like, why so serious? You know, you have to be serious all the time. Um, like I have all these responsibilities, you know, I'm the only one that, uh, uh, that's capable of doing this or doing that, or this is my job, this you know, that type of shit, and it's never leaving any room for fun, and I feel like this person is teaching you how to have fun again, um, you forgot how, you forgot how, you forgot that love and relationships are supposed to be playful too, like, it's not all just get down to business, you know, um, and I feel like you bring, this out in each other so it's not just them showing you you're showing this other person too and I feel like you're showing this person the side of yourself that you forgot existed that could be where the what what was suppressed because a lot of times we um 
you know, we lose that inner child, that youthful feeling, because we're like, oh, we're adults, we, you know, we have all these responsibilities and duties, we got to do this and that, and we can't act that way. Who the fuck says we can't? This is having fun. You're having fun with whoever this person is, and that's beautiful. We have the lover's reverse. It could be a Gemini, because we do have the king of swords, but I don't feel like this king is the person that you're having a good time with. I feel like that's who, who you are trying to get away from. But we do have a lot of air energy, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, moving on. Wish fulfillment, healing, closing out that chapter with the world. I feel like you guys have chosen each other without even telling each other. This is this is a for some of you it could be a childhood friend, someone that you have known for a long time, lost touch with and you've regained them, but there's someone lurking amongst this connection that's not healthy and it could be the person that you're getting away from or that you did get away from. Um there's a potential for that jackass to come back around, male, female, whatever, it doesn't matter. This person is helping you heal on multiple levels. And I feel like, in turn, you're doing the same for them. You guys, like, it's almost like wishing on a star and your dreams coming true. We have Aries energy here as well, Aquarius. I just keep looking at the stars. I wanted to start singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Maybe one of you has kids and you guys sing nursery rhymes and things like that. Um, if you do have children, this person, both of you are very good with each other's children. Or you're good with their kids, they're good with yours. If there are children involved. Um, I just feel a very light-hearted, just having a good time. We're just No strings attached. Just living day by day. No expectations. It's like total, doing a complete 180 from what you used to do in relationships. It's allowing. It's having that faith that if it's meant to be, it will just be kind of thing. Can I get more, please? And you both are feeling this way. I feel like you guys can have very deep conversations about your past, about your feelings, about whatever, but you don't tell each other how you feel about each other, if that makes sense. So you're not afraid to talk about your feelings, but you just haven't told this person that you actually like them, um, and vice versa. Yeah, it's because you need time, soulmates, and healing heart. You need, you're still working on healing, basically. It's almost like, I choose you, but please wait for me. If we're meant to be, you'll still be there. You both feel the same way. So I really feel like both of you have gone through... Um, very similar circumstances. That's what I was getting at. So, your wants and or needs. Um, we have the Four of Swords. This is recovery mode for me in the after tarot. Because usually it's about resting, recuperating. And look, she wants... It's like grieving the loss, basically. So it's grieving over the past. It's recovering from a loss. I feel like it's recovering from this breakup. You want to succeed in in your recovery process. Some of you are, are recovering from um, <clears throat> an addiction of some kind, potentially started when you were with this unhealthy person in the past. Um, and addictions aren't always substances. It can be, you know, drugs, alcohol, whatever, but it can also be, you know, spending money. It can be addicted to sex. Um, codependency, shit like that. It's just recovering from all those unhealthy things. It's recovering from people and situations, um, this person who put you through hell and back. Uh, and sometimes when, when we really give our heart to other people um, and they just use it and abuse it and stomp on it and whatever, it is like grieving um, an actual death when you lose that person if you love them, you know? And I kind of feel like that's what this is. It's like, you don't want this person back. You just, you know that you still need time to fully heal, which is good. You're focusing on yourself. And you're just waiting. You're waiting for the moment when you are recovered fully. 
basically. I feel like this person's helping you. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's reversed. So it's not being reckless. It's, you know, choosing your words wisely. It's speaking about important matters. It's like really thinking things through. It's, it's thinking before you act, before you speak. Because you don't want to say the wrong thing, basically. You're being smart. Yeah, you haven't even told this person how you feel. That's what I said. We have the na the Knave of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. That's all about apologies, you know, expressing small... It's a small emotional offer. To me, this is like writing love letters in this deck, but this is not doing that. This is thinking. I feel like you're still processing through some of the emotions. And it's like, this is basically reco with recovering and, and these two cards. It's not talking about it, but it's um, closure. So you're providing a sense of closure for yourself because I don't feel like you're going to get it from this asshole or bitch that you were dealing with. Um, and the person that you are talking to right now is helping you move forward because you haven't moved you haven't fully healed yet and you know this and they know this but I, I feel like this person's very respectful of um, the fact that you need to take things slowly which is awesome their wants and or needs we have the two of wands which is needing to make a decision because um, I kind of feel like this is working together to decide on what the next step is to me this is making a decision on your own um, I feel like this person has already chosen you, but they're giving you time because it's like, I already know what I want, but I'm waiting for you to know what you want or for you to be ready to receive, you know, whatever I have to give. Yeah. You can't make this shit up. Three of Wands. They're waiting. This person, even though they're acting, I wanted to say aloof, but even though they're being patient and they're waiting for when you're ready and the time is right and blah, blah, blah. This person yearns for your ass. I'm just going to say, Pisces, they have it bad for you. This person is extremely passionate about you. It's like they pine over you every time you're away. I feel like you wouldn't even know it, though. They really want to celebrate with you. They want to explore your body. 110% but they know that you're still guarded that you still got a few things to work through and they're willing to wait I mean it doesn't make them exactly happy that you're not paying them that much attention um, you know the type of attention that they want but they got a deal you know can I get more on the three of wands it's like they know they gotta do it oh my god unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love, kisses. They're falling in love with you. They're willing to wait. They're fucking hiding it. What did I say with the mask? That's what they're doing. They're hiding their love for you. They've already chosen you and you don't even know it, Pisces. That's awesome. That's so awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad this is a good reading. I need a drink. Because after that comment that that fucking person posted, I was all fired up. I started recording and I'm like, nope, I'm going to remove this because I bitch too much. Oh, goose raba. I had to think things through. Anyways, so your feelings. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah, it's this person. And they, they know it, but they don't know that you feel that way. And then their feelings is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully which is what you two are doing with playfulness here I feel like the more in touch with yourself that you get and like as you're healing and recovering from uh, all the shit you've gone through the traumas in your life this this past breakup this person whatever um, I feel like this person is watching you grow right before their eyes and they're seeing <sighs> They're seeing the beauty in you before you even see it in yourself. And I feel like 
the reason why they're they're being so patient is because they want you to not only love them but to love yourself fully because in order to really love somebody you need to be happy within yourself and love yourself and they, this person is very enlightened and they know that um i feel like i just want to show you the world i want to show you what what love can be what love should be if i get more on this could be the one this is friggin' amazing, Pisces. I'm a Pisces tonight, I'm just gonna say. I hope this person shows up. Oh my god, Ten of Pentacles. Yep. I'm telling you, you see the whole fucking... Uh, the whole shebang with this person. This is marriage. This is happy life, happy wife. This is, you know, 2.5 kids, white picket fence, fucking dog, cat, chicken, you know, goat, whatever. It's the whole, it's everything. That's how you feel about this person. But you're taking your time. Attraction. It's funny because I saw this wanting to flip. Judgment. They've already chosen you. I already said that. And it's for more than just your looks. So your expectations. The five of wands. Coming to an agreement, but there's also conflict, because I saw it here, too. It's like, still trying to figure shit out, because um, usually, this is the after tarot, but in the uh, traditional writer weight, this is all about conflict. It's a disagreement, a, a difference of opinion. This is coming to an agreement. It's like everyone's sitting down, we don't want to fight, let's talk this out kind of thing. I feel like your expectation is that this person is understanding. Um, their understanding of your wants, your needs. They're easy to talk to. It's almost like you can talk about touchy subjects with them. And they're not going to pick a fight. So they don't start problems, basically. We have the Two of Pentacles. This is having quite a bit on your plate. There's some stress. I feel like this person is giving you time to, to choose what's best for you. Can I get more? I want more on the Two of Pentacles, please. Because sometimes our expectations, they're not fact. They're just how we see things. Some of you might think that this person has already made a choice and that they don't, like, that you guys are just friends or that you've been friend-zoned. You have not been friend-zoned. I'm telling you that right now. You're not just an option to this person either. They might act that way, but remember, they're hiding their feelings. So, and sometimes that can backfire in your face. So if you're cross-watching for Pisces, you know, and you're hiding your feelings, be careful that you don't do it too long. Because I feel like someone needs to speak up eventually. And it's coming up here soon. Strength. Yeah, somebody's holding back a decision. I feel like you're holding back your feelings, Pisces, because you don't want to take the chance on losing this person. Because even if you could never have um, that loving connection with them, you don't want to lose them as a friend, basically. But So you're kind of restraining yourself from letting them know, from even bringing it up, basically, from letting them know that you've thought about moving forward with them. I feel like you think this person has other options and that they won't choose you. They've already chosen you though. That's that's what you don't know, which is awesome. Their expectations. We have the tower reversed and the three of swords reversed. And in the after tarot, this is pain and heartbreak because this is healing from it. Um, and this is sudden heartbreak and pain. Because this tower, well, let me see. This tower has already crumbled. They've already fallen out. But it still hasn't completely fallen. I feel like this is the return of the past. Oh, this is that, like when I was talking about regression therapy or um, the unresolved issues, with the suppressed, whatever the fuck's being suppressed. This is coming back up. I feel like this person knows that you that you haven't fully healed it because you're still in recovery mode from whatever the hell happened to you. 
and for it's different for all of you, but I feel like it was pretty severe. Yeah, you're still healing with temperance here. So their expectation is that you you still got a little ways to go, basically, and that you might return to the past. So they do fear you trying to reconcile with um, with an ex, or move. Yeah, they do fear that if you don't fully. Um, if you don't fully heal and you don't fully go through, you know, the healing process and focus on yourself, if, if they jump the gun, they fear, this person fears that you're going to, to regress, basically, you're going to go backwards and that this is going to bubble back up and, um, cause problems between the two of you or just in your life in general. Um, some of you have been suicidal, not all of you, and this person knows, I feel like they pulled you out of the gutter, um, a time or two when it came to that scenario, and this person is afraid of it happening again. Um, so they're trying not to push you, basically, because they do fear that regression. That might be where regression is coming in. So because of the energy that this person is fearing about you, they definitely love you. They don't want anything bad to happen to you. Um, they're proud of you. They're, pow they're proud of your personal growth, of how far you've come, and that you've let them in. And if you're wondering anything, because I know the love is just mutual. I totally see it. But I see them hiding their feelings because you are very vulnerable still. And, and if you're not, and if you're like, no, I'm good, this person feels that you're still vul vulnerable. That if something went wrong between the two of you, that it would break you. And they don't want to be the reason for a regression, basically. So they're kind of walking on eggshells right now, just hoping that time will continue to heal you know these wounds and that things will come together when it's meant to come together but I do feel like this person is going to open up to you relatively soon because they don't want it to be a missed opportunity which we're going to find that out over on Patreon where we cover obstacles and blocks so what the hang up is which I kind of feel past energy being a hang up um, your actions, their actions, as well as the potential outcome within a month's time. So by the end of July, basically, or the first, you know, first week in August around then, whenever you watch it, whatever, some of you could be watching this a year from now for all I know. Um, and then advice and potentially what they want to say to you, because I, this person has it bad for you. And I see, you know, that you see the potential as well, that it's there for whoever this is for. This is fucking beautiful. Um, yeah, I actually can't wait to see what's, what's blocking the two of you because I feel like you're right on the precipice of something um, extraordinary. <laughs> extraordinary! <laughs> Anyways... Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more apt to pick up on your energy. Don't forget, hit me up for a personal Willow Vines with an S1631 at gmail.com. It's in the box below. Um, I do have a merch site on Bonfire. It's on the community tabs on Facebook. And it's on Patreon. Go support me that way if you'd like to be an official member of the Willow Vibes tribe. Um, that's it. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'll see you over on Patreon. <laughs> Bye.